In the eye of the Omicron storm, Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has issued an alarming statement. Bennett has cautioned that during the current wave, Israel could see up to nearly 40% of the population get infected by coronavirus. Now, Bennett wrote on his Twitter account, the data presented at the cabinet meeting indicates that here in Israel, between two to four million citizens in total will be infected during this current wave. Over the past week, Israel has seen infections nearly quadruple. On Saturday, the health ministry reported over 17,000 new infections. With a population of just 9.4 million, Israel's nationwide testing facilities are buckling under the pressure. A lack of testing sites has created huge pressure on the existent ones, resulting in the government revising its testing policy. But even the new guidelines have proved impossible to follow. Antigen tests are in scarce supply at pharmacies around the country. People are forced to spend hours in line waiting to get one administered. Now, with the surge in COVID-19 infections and hours-long queues at mandatory testing stations, Israel has sought to ease access to home COVID-19 tests. The government is also negotiating price reductions with major pharmacy chains. More than one and a half million COVID cases have been officially recorded in Israel, including 8,000 deaths. More than 4.3 million Israelis are fully vaccinated with three shots. Amid the surge in sight, Bennett has reiterated he would do everything possible to avoid a lockdown. A lockdown has not proven an efficient measure against the spread of the highly infectious Omicron variant. It could instead deal a heavy blow to the economy. For more on this, we are being joined by Weon correspondent Jody Cohen from Rana. Thanks for being with us, Jody. Now, what is the latest on Israel COVID cases surge? As we hear an estimation by none other than Prime Minister Bennett himself that it would go to massive levels in the coming days. So what we do know right now is that cases of COVID are going up in Israel. Prime Minister Bennett has said to expect between two and four million people will be infected in this wave. Now, to put that into perspective, that's 40 percent of the entire population of Israel. And cases are breaking records with today 21,501 new cases being recorded, which is a new daily record. And the positivity rate is over 11.7 percent which is also the highest recorded since October 2020. And you can see this behind me. Traffic is lighter than usual. Yesterday, I did a one-hour journey in 30 minutes. Um, shop sales are reportedly down. Restaurants are reporting a 40% decrease in their profits. We're also seeing long lines for antigen testing with some lines more than three hours long where normally people might expect to wait for like 20, 30 minutes. I also spoke with a pharmacist who said that um, antigen tests are running out. So, for example, the other morning he received uh, 250 home antigen kits and within two hours he only had eight left. So supplies are going fast as more and more people need to get themselves tested. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.